Are you traveling for work overseas or across the country and you don't want to lose your productivity? Then you definitely need to watch this video and check these 5 tips to fight jet lag. Hey bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy entrepreneurs and managers be more productive and get back in control of their own time. I'm definitely used to jet lag. I love traveling. I've been traveling to 38 countries and counting so far. But as you know, I'm also French and I met Sherry in Nicaragua while traveling. And I've been doing this back and forth between France and California for a little bit over a year. So I definitely know what I'm talking about. And I definitely have really good tips to beat jet lag. Jet lag can be overcome pretty easily or at least you can greatly smoother the transition. If you have a little bit of understanding of what is happening to your body and if you plan ahead. So our body has an internal rhythm. So whenever you're traveling through different time zones, you're kind of messing up with this internal rhythm. So how do you play with your internal rhythm? Keep watching, I have five tips. The first tip is actually the easiest, so let's get it out of the way, is not to do anything. For example, when you're traveling just for a couple days across the country, where you have three to six hours difference, just don't do anything. It's just a couple of days. There is no point I trying to actually adjust to the local time. No point I going to bed at your regular bedtime and just go out for a drink and maybe go party a little bit. At least you're going to have a very good reason to be tired. More seriously, if it's just for a couple of days, you will need to keep the same bedtimes, wake times and meal times. Just as if you were home and try to keep the same exposure to daylight. We're going to talk about daylight exposure or light exposure later in the video. This way you kind of hide to your own body that you change time zone and you don't mess up with your internal clock. Second tip that I have for you to beat the jet lag is to transition slowly. Slowly adjust your sleep schedule by an hour or two every single day before the travel day so that you can gradually transition from one time zone to the other. Once again, shifting by one or two hours includes bedtime, wake time, and meal time. Of course, this can only be done if your schedule allows it. If you're traveling for work and you're kind of dependent on your colleagues or your client's schedule, then it's a little bit more difficult. But this technique, if your schedule allows it, can really, really help you with the transition. The third tip is to use light exposure to your advantage. Remember your internal clock? It's called the circadian clock and it's directly linked to daylight exposure. Your body is used to have a full 24 hour cycle in a day with given times where it is receiving daylight. So whenever you change time zone, you kind of messing up with this circadian clock and this daylight exposure that your body is used to have. So you need to realign your circadian clock to the new time zone and to the new daylight exposures. So it means that if you're traveling west, when you wake up in the morning, you need to definitely go outside and get as much light as possible so that your body gets the message that, oh, okay, it's the morning, I have daylight, so I need to be awake. And same when traveling west, when I have my family coming from France, and they usually crash around like three in the afternoon because I know that their body is getting tired, they're getting sleepy. So if they're walking outside and they get light exposure, the body is going to understand that it's still daylight, so it needs to be awake as much as possible. It doesn't work all the time. They always crash around five. So that brings us to the fourth tips because on top of being aware of your circadian clock, you can also play with your hormone levels within your body so that you can also induce sleep. Yes, that's my fourth tip, the use of melatonin. Let me be clear on that, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not in a position to give you advice or to give recommendation or prescriptions. So this tip that I'm sharing now is based on my own experience and how it worked for me. I strongly recommend you checking with your doctor before taking any of these recommendations. Melatonin is a hormone that is secreted by your own body during nighttime and it's released in your blood and it induces sleep. I always have melatonin with me when traveling because it helps me fall asleep when I want to, especially when traveling overnight. 
and you can not only use melatonin during the day of traveling but you can also use it days before or days after in order to help your circadian clock to get adapted to the new time zone. Bright light inhibits the release of melatonin so I would recommend to use eye masks. See how you can play with light exposure on one hand and melatonin on the other hand. One helping you being more awake and the other one inducing sleep. So if you're smart and you use them complement to each other, then you can greatly smoother the transition. The fifth and last tip that I have in order to beat jet lag is to take care of your body and mind. Stay hydrated, this is a very important one. When you're traveling and you're on the plane because of the pressure and the atmosphere environment, you are losing even more water than you would normally. Also, it's very important to stay active. If you can walk in the terminal while waiting for your plane, or when you're traveling east and you wake up in the morning, as I said earlier, just go outside, go for a walk, get your light in. And by staying active, also I mean exercise. If you can exercise the day before you take the flight, then that's gonna help you also sleeping. And also stay positive, you know that's my main message. I like positivity, I think it's very important. A lot has to do with mindset. A portion of the jet lag impact is actually psychological. Just be positive about it. You are having a trip, you're traveling, this is awesome, and there is no room for complaining about jet lag at all. So if you're complaining about the jet lag, if you think that you're going to suffer from it, yes, you will. That's it, these were my five tips in order to beat jet lag. Let's summarize. Do not adapt to the new time zone for short trip. Transition slowly. Play with light exposure. Use melatonin, again, see your doctor for that first. Take care of your body and mind. I hope this was helpful, guys. I think being able to beat jet lag is important for your productivity, especially if you travel a lot. You know me, I love traveling. What is the next destination? What is your next planned travel? Let me know in the comment section below. And also share this video with the person that you're going to travel with so that you can both or as a group beat jet lag together. Merci, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you liked it. Just put a thumbs up and comment if you liked it. And also you can subscribe to the channel or you can also watch new videos from my channel. See you next week.